welcome students in the series of topics in commercial arithmetics here is a stationery store one student wants to purchase ball pens but the stationery storekeeper told that the cost of 24 ball pens is rupees 56 but that students needs only 18 ball pens now what he will do let us help him we need to understand unitary method to solve his problem. What is unitary method? The method of finding the value of one item and then finding the value of the required number of items is called unitary method. It means if you have the cost of so many things, then what you can do? You can find out the cost price of one. Then you can find out as many as numbers for that item so it is a unitary method and with the help of this method we will solve his problem let us solve since the cost of 24 pence equals to rupees 56 now according to this unitary method we will find out the cost of one pen first so therefore the cost of one pen equals to you know that whenever we need to find out the cost for one, we need to divide the cost of 24 pence equals to rupees 56 and for one pen it is 56 divided by 24. Now, now we need to find out the cost of 18 pence. So for 18, we need to multiply. So 56 divided by 24 multiply 18. Now we will solve all this all together. How? It is very simple. Just see. At first, we will tell the table of 8. 8 threes are 24. And here, 8 sevens are 56. And here, 3, 6 are 18. Now, 7 multiply 6. What it will be? Rupees 42. It means the cost of 18 pence equals to rupees 42. So, unitary method is very easy. What you need to do, understand it again. Because the cost of 24 pence equals to rupees 56, it is given to you. According to this unitary method, we will find out the cost of 1. And to find out 1, we need to divide in 56 by 24. Now, we need to find out finally the cost of 18 pence. So what we will do, 56 divided by 24 is the cost of 1. So just multiply by 18. So it is a cost of 18 pence, that is rupees 42. Let us do one more question. If one dozen oranges cost rupees 24.60, what could be the cost of 5 oranges? Now here, what is given to you? Since the cost of one dozen oranges equals to rupees 24.60 and you know that one dozen equal to 12, it means the cost of 12 oranges is given to you. The cost of 12 oranges equals to rupees 24.60. According to this unitary method, now we will find out the cost for one orange. And to find out one orange, we will divide 24.60 divided by 12. You can divide at this stage too or we will wait for the last step. Last step is the cost of 5 oranges. Because you know the cost of 1 orange equals to rupees 24.60 divided by 12. So the cost of 5 oranges equals to just multiply by 5. So it is rupees 24.60 divided by 12 into 5. Now let us divide it. 12 ones are 12. And here 12 twos are 24.0 12 fives are 60. Now just multiply this 5 and 2.05. What you will get? Rupees 10.25. It is the cost of 5 oranges. So simple.
Let us do one more question to understand this concept. If 5 gross pence cost Rs. 2160, find the cost of 43 pence. So here, what is given to you? The cost of 5 gross pence equals to Rs. 2160. Now, what is gross? You know, 1 gross equal to 12 dozen. It means 12 into 12, 144. 1 gross equals to 144. And here, 5 gross pence is given to you. It means 5 gross equals to 5 multiply 144. That is equals to 720. It means what is given to you? The cost of 5 gross pence or we can say the cost of 720 pence. That is equals to rupees 2160. Now, according to this unitary method, we will find out the cost of 1 pen. So, the cost of 1 pen equals to, let us divide, 2160 divided by 720. You can divide at this stage also, but I will do it later at the last stage. Now, find the cost of 43 pence. It means the cost of 43 pence equals to, just multiply by 43, 2160 divided by 720 multiply by 43. Now, just divide it and it is very simple. 0 and 0. Cancel. Now, 72, when we multiply by 3, in 72, we get 216. It means we can divide in 216 by 72 very easily. So here it is 72, 3 is a. Now just multiply 3 and 43. What you will get? Rupees 129. It is a cost of 43 pence. Let us do one more question. Here is, if 8 scores of bananas cost Rs. 192, find the cost of 85 bananas. So, what is given to you? Since the cost of 8 scores bananas equals to Rs. 192. Now, here, what is the score? 1 score equals to 20. Always remember this. So, 8 scores equals to 8 into 20, it means 160. So, what is given to you actually? The cost of 8 scores or we can say the cost of 160 bananas is given to you and that is 192. Now, we will find out the cost of 1 banana. That is 192 divided by 160. Now, we can find out the cost of 85 bananas to 192 divided by 160 multiply by 85. Now, solve this. It is very easy to solve. See how 16 ones are 16 and 0. And here, 16 ones are 16 and 16 twos are 32. Now, by the table of 2, we can divide in 10 and 12. 2 fives are 10. And here, 2 six are 12. Now, we can divide in 85 by 5. Yes, that is 17. Just multiply 6 and 17 and see what you will get. You will get 100. So, the cost of 85 bananas is rupees 102. Let us do one more question. Here is, if two dozen notebooks cost rupees 288, find the cost of one score of notebooks. So, how we will do it? Very simple. What is given to you? Since the cost of two dozen notebooks equals to rupees 288 and you know that one dozen equals to 12, it means two dozen equals to 24. It means the cost of 24 notebooks is given to you and that is rupees 288. Now we will find out the cost of one notebook. It means we need to divide in 288 by 24. Now, we need to find out the cost of one score notebooks. One score means I already told you that this is 20. One score equals to 20. It means we need to find out the cost of 20 notebooks. So, multiply the cost of one notebook by 
20 it means rupees 288 divided by 24 multiplied by 20 let us solve this how 24 ones are 24 and here 24 ones are 24 remainder is 4 and here is 8 so 48 so 24 twos are 48 now 12 and multiply 20 what is here rupees 240 the cost of 20 notebooks is rupees 240 or we can say the cost of one score notebooks is rupees 240 so simple so in mathematics what you need to do yes practice because practice makes perfect so do practice